Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Something Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. So what we're going to be doing today is a cute little sign. I actually got the idea off of Pinterest, and I am super excited to make this sign. So we're just going to jump right on in, and I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to show you everything needed. All right. All right. So the first thing you're going to need this is optional but if you don't want to mess up your work area you're going to want something to do your work on give me a second so i have a cutting board i got from some store clearance or whatever and i'm using that as you can see i got paint all over it so the other thing you're going to need is some letters b o and o or a sign that says that i got these from Hobby Lobby and they were about 40% off so they were probably like a dollar something a piece. So you're gonna need that. Let me move it out of the way. Okay. So you're gonna also need some of this ribbon. As you can see it's see-through and it is spider web. I got this from Dollar Tree last year and I believe they still have some this year. You're also gonna need some popsicle sticks. I got these from Walmart. I don't think I paid very much for them. Okay. Another thing you're gonna need is some little styrofoam balls. Uh, these are the floral foam. I got these from Dollar Tree. You're gonna need two of those. You will also need some white fabric and some, I'm gonna use these white and clear bread ties you're gonna need some lights pair of scissors some white paint I'm using apple barrel white got that from Walmart you're gonna need some miter shears or you might even be able to use your scissors but miter shears will be best and then we're gonna need a paintbrush and some hot glue and wood glue Oh yeah, and the very last item is some tower blocks. I don't know exactly how many I'm gonna need yet, but I got about 16. That should be more than enough, which if you just buy a box of tower blocks from Dollar Tree for $1.25, you'll have more than enough. All right, now, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lay out the boo the way you want it to look. And I really don't have enough room on here, but I'm gonna show y'all real quick the best I can. I'm going to do like this and so while doing it you're going to mark on these popsicle sticks where you want to cut because these are what are going to brace the boo together and make it work and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut all these popsicle sticks. Ooh, I almost dropped it y'all. And we're going to cut out pretty much where we marked on it. For each part. And it doesn't have to, the line did not have to be straight. You just want to a feel for how you're gonna cut it because when you cut it it will be straight as long as you do the Midas shears and do the straight line I'm trying to get this where y'all can see it I've I went on vacation and I don't have a lot of room but I still want to do this little project because I cannot wait to see how it comes out so just I'm throwing stuff away, y'all. And yes, I probably could have did it more of one, more than one on each one, but I was just trying to get it done. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, y'all, so the next step we're gonna do now that we got them cut is we're just gonna paint them. 
and I'm gonna paint both sides and part of the reason why I'm gonna paint both sides is because even though you're really not gonna see it because what I'm doing one two of them will kind of show up before we completely finish what we're doing so I want to make sure it all fits in and it looks nice so we're just gonna paint and don't worry I will finish painting I'm just trying to sorry about the shakiness I am just trying to ooh, get it started There you go, and once they dry, we'll completely paint them, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, y'all, while that's drying, we're gonna move on to the next step. And that is the ribbon. We're just gonna take and cut the ribbon to go across. And then we'll move on from there. Right. So that's what it's going to look like. And then we're just going to glue it down and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to work on gluing this down. And I wish I would have brought my stuff. But it's okay. I'm going to try not to go too thick. We don't want any problems. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera. I meant to move the B. Whoopsie. And we'll see how this works. Because I might have messed up. <laughs> move this for now. It doesn't want to move, y'all. It wants to give problems. So let me turn that slightly. Give me a second, y'all.
get there. I don't know how great I'm gonna get this, but I'm gonna try to line up and I'm gonna go ahead and do the middle. Sorry, I moved it. And go from there. that we need to, we didn't do last time. I had to turn it over and do it. Now we're going to go around the edges. I'm going to slowly do it. working and I'm not gonna try to put too too much glue on it because it is a it comes through the ribbon because this is a mesh ribbon I really like I turned it off and we're just gonna Now that all these are done, we're going to move on to the next step. So they're all glued as you can see. So the next step is to take a cutter. And just cut. part that's not glued out. And I borrowed my husband's box cutter because I forgot to bring my cutter. So I borrowed my husband's cutter. Look at that. And if anything goes wrong, you can always re glue it if it comes off.
There's my bee so far. I still gotta do the outside. There's always ways to get around when you mess up and forget stuff. Give me a second, y'all. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure I was at the highest setting, which I was. So there's my B. Let me get it where you can see it, sorry. There's my B. And now I'm gonna move on to the other two. The two O's. Alright, as you can see, they are done. So we're gonna move on to the next step, and that is putting them together the way I wanted them to look. And the problem is, I don't have a lot of room. Hold on a second. All right, y'all. Now that it is dry, the sticks are dry and the ribbon, whatever you want to call it, is on the letters. We're gonna set. You're gonna set up boo the way you want it to look, upside down though, so that you can glue these pieces on here. So that is the next step. And I am using a hot glue gun with wood glue. Ah. And it's just gonna help hold the pieces together. I'm gonna move this down so I can get to it easier. I'm trying to make sure it's level so that I don't break anything. I don't have a lot of workspace. Really? <laughs> My glue gun's misbehaving, y'all. And you're not going to worry about seeing these two pieces on the end because we are going to camouflage them. So we're going to let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, well, let's try. We're going to move on to the next step and that's making the little ghosties. So what we're going to take, we're going to take the 
fabric we have. I used this before. And then we're just going to put the ball in there. And then we're just going to cut the piece. And you don't have to be perfect with it because it is a ghost. So just have some fun and make it look creative. So what you're going to do with that is you're going to take and you're going to tie it. I don't know if y'all can see very well. With the bread tie. Sorry. I'm just trying to do a good job here. <laughs> And like I said, you're just going to tie it closed so it doesn't go anywhere. And there you have one little ghosty. So you're going to do that twice. So there's my two ghosts. And then we'll be moving on to the next step. I think they came out really cute. All right, y'all, now that it's all dry and everything, now we're just gonna hang our little ghosties on the sun and hope it comes out looking good. See how simple that was? All right, y'all, so while it is dried, so I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is to take my fairy lights. And it's not a very long string, so I'm actually gonna use two of these and I'm gonna attach it where it curves to the letter. You know, so that's what we're gonna do now. So as soon as my glue warms up. All right, so the first step is to glue the back into place and then we're just going to go around and just glue each piece down in spots ah. Sorry. and you got to give it a chance to glue to harden so you got to hold it Do like this. And what this is going to do is it's going to help highlight the actual sign. Uh, it says what it wants to do, y'all. make the sign show up more if you have it all over instead of just like down it or something which I was originally just going to go down the sign heat up I mean dry not heat up Does what it wants to do, y'all. Just 
gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like once I'm done. Oh my God, y'all, I am so in love with this product. I think it came out looking amazing. Now, this is gonna be have the hanging, gonna have to be hanging decor because of how big it is. But if you make it smaller, you can make a base for it. But I absolutely love this. Look how great it looks. All right, y'all, so I had so much fun making this video. And if you enjoyed it, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!